What are your three tips right now for, to redefine the aging process? If you are from, it's starting early and early because of toxicity and stress, we are uh, uh, blunting our hormone production. So I would, male and female, because you too, it's not just as menopausal women, you men go through something called andropause, which is why they do movies called Grumpy Old Men. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a grumpy old man since I was like 21, though, but it's you know, sad life. So you say have your blood checked. Have your blood checked so that you can see, determine a base of your hormone level base. And um, then the next year, if you do this once a year, you can see if you've started to decline. Once you start to decline, why wait until you're all uh, tapped out? Why not fill the tank, which is what I've been doing. I've been filling the tank. Every year, I seem to need a little more, but I take estrogen progesterone two weeks of the month I take testosterone mm, that's fun <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, I take uh, estriol because my body does not make estriol there the three components of, of estrogen that a woman makes are estriol estrone and estradiol Est estriol is the part that protects you from cancer and my body doesn't make it interesting that I got cancer so I replace that and that is this kind of science that's happening in anti-aging medicine to um, circumvent a, a, a recurrence in my case um, I also uh, want women to know that um, and men that we are in control of how we age and we are in control of our health and if you Look at the present paradigm of people who are ending up sick in the nursing homes. You don't want it. What are you doing differently, starting right now? Every choice you make, every time you choose to eat a, a chem chemical, every time you eat out of bags and boxes, you are choosing to go closer to that end because we're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of mankind. So you say not only take control uh, of, your, of your destiny, of your health, yeah. your body, but also take food seriously. And, and that was the third one. Thank you very much. But food is the fuel, is the nutrition uh, of the body. I, if you had a Maserati, you would never put inferior fuel into your Maserati, ever. Um, and if you had a Maserati, you would never wait till it broke down and completely fell apart before you took it to a mechanic. Yet we do that with our body. We wait till we hit the catastrophic event, the heart attack or cancer like I did. And um, that's how I got my wake-up call.